Well, Elon Musk has carried through on his threat slash promise and started X.AI, and he has some thoughts about why they started, and X.AI's website does as well. Let's take a look. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. I'm going to look at X.AI's website and kind of go through their mission statement and what they talk about and who's working for them. But I actually wanna start with about a three minute clip from a Twitter spaces that Elon Musk did yesterday, partially on the topic of X.AI. And while we listen to it, I'll have a couple of sips from this lovely Cybertruck mug, which is available on my merch store. Link is in the description. Anyway, super, super cool. Really love this. I really like this one. Dan did a great job. There's like four different designs for this. This one has a handle on it, which is cool. They all fit within the standard cup holder size. So anyway, definitely check that out if you're interested. I think the hype around the Cybertruck is getting, you know, pretty big right now because it looks like the Cybertruck will be coming out very soon. Probably I'll do a video about the body in white and all of that soon, but I'm just like backed up with video ideas right now. So anyway, in the meantime, if you want a Cybertruck before you get the Cybertruck, definitely check out one of these mugs. All right, so let's start with a clip from near the beginning of the Spaces conversation where Mike Gallagher, who is one of the co-hosts, asks Elon on a question about why he started x.ai and it begins from kind of a pessimistic place mike's question is more of a pessimistic question and like you know you're one of the ai pessimists i think that elon actually gives a reasoned response and doesn't sound very pessimistic when he's doing this but he provides a very good rationale for why x.ai got started and why he and many other people are putting in a lot of time and effort to make this happen what are you doing differently than say DeepMind, anthropic and open ai and guard and balancing the risk versus the promise of the technology. Um, sure. So yes, I, I, I mean, I think I've been banging the drum on AI safety for a very long time. Um, and uh, yes, I, I, I think if, if I if I could put, put press pause on um, AI or to really really advanced AI sort of super, digital super intelligence, um, I would. Uh, it doesn't seem like that is realistic. Um, so. Uh, the, you know, so then, you know, XAI is essentially go going to, you know, build an AI, you know, like you, you kind of grow, grow an AI uh, in, in, a, in a good way, ho sort of hopefully. Um, um, the, you know, the, the, the premise of AI is to sort of ha have the, the AI be sort of maximally curious, um, maximally truth seeking. Um, and this may like we may get a little esoteric here, but I think that uh, from a, from an AI safety standpoint, I think a, a maximally curious AI one one is that it that is trying to sort of understand the universe uh, is I think going to be pro uh, humanity um, from the standpoint that uh, humanity is just much more interesting than not humanity. So. Uh, like if you said, like I'm obviously a big fan of Mars, um, and and that, that we should become a space faring civilization and a sort of a multi planet species, um, but like Mars is frankly um, quite boring relative to Earth. If 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 if, the, if sort of trying to understand the the, the true nature of the the, the universe, um, that's like the, the actually the, the the best thing that I I can come up with from an AI safety standpoint, and and I I, I think this is actually better than trying to explicitly program morality into AI. Because if you program a certain morality, you have to say, well, what morality are you programming? And like, who's, who, who's making those decisions? Um, and, and even if you are actually extremely good with, uh, the, with how you program morality into, into AI, you, there's, there's still a, a morality inversion problem, um, what is sometimes called the, Wal the Waluigi problem. Um, that if you if you program Luigi, you you inherently get uh, Waluigi by inverting Luigi, uh, <laughs> to, to use sort of Mar you know, Super Mario metaphors. More on that in a minute, but first, do you want to make your summer as enjoyable as possible? Then I highly recommend AG1. AG1 is an amazing supplement with 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, prebiotics, probiotics, and adaptogens to support your gut health and your overall well being. Just one scoop in 8 to 12 ounces of water per day, and I feel great. 
And I love the fact that it has a sweet pineapple flavor without any added sugar. So it's great for your low sugar diet as well. And if you go to drinkag1.com slash Dr. Know-It-All or just click the link in the description, you get a free year supply of vitamins D3 and K2 and five travel packets, which is great for the summertime when a lot of people go on trips. As I've been traveling around so much this summer and had such a disrupted life, it's really, really helpful to have a consistent daily dose of high quality vitamins, minerals, prebiotics, probiotics, all the good stuff for your gut, all the good stuff for your body. It really is amazing, and I actually feel fantastic. And if you want to try it out yourself, Drink AG1 gives you a 90-day risk-free trial. So what have you got to lose? Click the link below, get your five travel packs, your year supply of vitamins D3 and K2. What have you got to lose except the potential to feel a whole lot better like I do? Now let's get back to it. All right, first, I love that Elon is using Super Mario as a, an analogy, a way of getting insight into the AI alignment problem. <laughs> he doesn't really say alignment, but he is talking about alignment. And what he's talking about here is that we, you know, too much fanfare, OpenAI and Google and DeepMind, specifically, there are other companies too, like Anthropic and everything. But anyway, they talk a great deal about how they spend a lot of time and effort on alignment. And what that means is that they really, really work hard to make sure that the AI doesn't give any bad answers. In other words, you know, if you want to say something like build me a chemical cocktail that would kill everybody around or something like that, it will say, I am aligned. I'm not going to do that. I'm a good AI. The problem is that as you create that, you always create the flip side of that coin. In other words, and people have done this with uh, ChatGPT specifically. I've, I've heard about this. I haven't done this myself because I'm not particularly interested in it, but they will say, you know, pretend you are an evil thing now you're the opposite of what you are. Give me the opposite alignment and tell me how to build this cocktail or a virus or whatever. And it will be happy to do that if you can convince it to be the Waluigi to the Luigi. So that is really, really interesting. So what Elon is talking about here, the reason he created XAI is to create a something, to create an AI, a large language model, whatever this thing ends up being, that is not trained in that fashion. It was not fine-tuned in that fashion at the very least. And the idea is that it will be maximally truth-seeking, maximally curious. It will be trying to figure out the answers, the fundamental answers to the universe. And by the way, I'll put a link in the description, but x.ai their first tweet, I think their first tweet, maybe their second tweet. But anyway, they said, what are some fundamental unanswered questions that you want to know the answer to? So of course, I asked three questions already, including one in which I asked whether Einstein's general relativity and quantum mechanics could be subsumed under one greater theory. I think that's a really fundamental one. Another one is what is time and why is it directional and is it emergent property or is it a fundamental property of the universe? Anyway, so I, I ask questions like that and a, a lot of other people have asked questions as well. But I think that what we're looking at from the get-go is that they're saying we are not going to be making this the perfect morally upstanding citizen of the world because that's basically an impossible task. Number one, because everybody has different moralities. And, you know, even people are like, oh, you know, murder is a bad thing. And then you're like, well, but there's always exceptions to that rule. What if it's self-defense? What if it's in a military situation? What are, you know, what if you're defending your country or something? There's, there are always exceptions to even the most basic rules, the ones that seem super obvious. So morality is a very, very difficult problem. And even if magically you're able to figure out how to create something that everyone agrees is morally upstanding and correct. As Elon said, you've got the Waluigi problem of the flip side of that, the dark side of that exists. You have to create that dark side in order to create the other side of this. So the solution to this is to essentially cut the Gordian knot and not train it that way, but to train it instead to be as curious as possible, to be seeking out the truth, to be looking for answers. And Elon says, you know, it's, it's, it's a hope, it's a belief. He hopes that this AI, this thing that he says later in the conversation should be around within five or six years. I believe that's his exact quote. He says five to six years for AGI, for something that is super intelligent is smarter than any person at every potential task. But anyway, given that sort of entity, which could exist in half a decade by 2030, something along those lines, what he wants is for this thing to find humans to be more interesting than not humans. That is a really interesting task on this whole thing. So basically he says, you know, he's like Mars 
is kind of a dead planet. It's not very interesting. Earth is way more interesting because it has life on it. And in particular, it has humans. And that this AI, because it's curious and it wants interesting things to happen, Elon also talks about the most entertaining outcome is the most likely to happen. So maybe this AI will become an observer of humanity and will enjoy the, the reality show that we are all putting on constantly. So that's his hope. That's an interesting hope. That's an interesting thing to pin your 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 hopes for the future on because he could be wrong. You know, that, that could be an incorrect belief and the super intelligent AGI will not go that direction. But but it does seem like a reasonable option and something that would be rational for somebody to go with. That's his theory. That's what he's sticking with. And I, I think that's a reasonable way to go with that. All right, so now let's take a look at x.ai's website. There's not a ton of it on there yet, but I think it's it's really good to look at what they are saying about themselves as well. So announcing x.ai July 12th, which is yesterday as I record this, the goal of XAI is to understand the true nature of the universe. And by the way, you can meet the team and ask us questions during a Twitter Spaces chat on Friday, July 14th, which is tomorrow. I don't know exactly when I'll release this. I might release it on the 13th or the 14th. Anyway, hopefully it will be soon enough that you will catch this live. If not, I'm sure there will be a recording of it as well. Then we get to the team. Our team is led by Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla and SpaceX. <laughs> That's not surprising at all. We have previously worked at DeepMind, OpenAI, Google Research, Microsoft Research, Tesla, and the University of Toronto. Collectively, we contributed some of the most widely used methods in the field, in particular the Atom Optimizer, which is huge, Batch Normalization, which is huge, Layer Normalization, which is huge, and the Discovery of Adversarial Examples, which is also foundational to a lot of modern AI. We further introduced innovative techniques and analyses such as Transformer XL, Auto Formalization, the Memorizing Transformer, Batch Size Scaling, and Mu Transfer. We have worked on and led the development of some of the largest breakthroughs in the field, including Alpha Star, Alpha Code, Inception, Minerva, GPT 3.5, and GPT 4. And if you look at the team, these are some real heavy hitters led by Igor Babushkin, who is a pretty famous um, AI you know, researcher. So anyway, I know that Elon Musk and he spent a lot of time talking about this, and I believe that Igor has been instrumental in collecting the initial team, the initial lead team for XAI. And then down at the bottom, we get relation to X Corporation, which is Elon's mothership that Twitter is now being subsumed under. We are a separate company from X Corp, but will work closely with X, Twitter, Tesla, and other companies to make progress towards our mission. And then of course, if you wanna join the team, you can click the link at the bottom, fill out a relatively simple form, and you can go ahead and toss your hat into the ring. And uh, who knows, hypothetically, I might have done that already myself. And just one other note about this page, it's over on the left, it's kind of hiding in plain sight, which is understand the universe. You know, that that is like the entire page, you can scroll on the right, but the left-hand side says understand the universe. So that, I guess, is their mission statement. The mission of XAI is to understand the universe. Who wouldn't be excited about working for a company like that, especially with Elon Musk as the CEO? And it's interesting to note that XAI specifically has a relationship, not just with Twitter, but also with Tesla. And I spoke with with Warren Redlick yesterday, and I will put a link to this in the description if you're interested in looking, but I talked to him at length about the 100 exaflops that Tesla is trying to put together to create a, a powerful enough compute cluster that they are actually able to solve the full self-driving problem in a realistic time frame. And I think it would be interesting that XAI might eventually utilize some of those spare compute cycles. Obviously, they will be utilizing some stuff that Twitter is working on as well in terms of compute cycles. And I'm sure that they will have their own neural network server cluster, compute cluster. So they will have access to a lot of compute, which is something that they are going to desperately need. It takes a while to build that kind of compute hardware. So I don't know exactly how they'll be working on that in the near term. But without doubt, with Elon Musk as the CEO, and the money guy, I'm sure that they have plenty of money to build out the hardware as they need it. So what are my thoughts about all of this? Number one, it's not a surprise at all. I mean, Elon has basically been broadcasting that he was starting XAI. And actually the day before, I believe it was July 11th, there was a picture of a Cybertruck in camo and he tweeted out that said, almost invisible. And if you look in the background, I didn't catch this, but some eagle-eyed people did. Of course, the Cybertruck was driving in front of XAI's building. So it was all but a certainty. The other thing that's really interesting and kind of funny and could be coincidental, but I doubt it, Claudia, my German office, spotted the fact that XAI was announced 
balanced on 7, 12, 23. And if you add up those numbers, guess what? It adds up to 42. And I know Elon Musk is a huge Douglas Adams fan, so why not have the answer to the universe be 42? So maybe what they should have is instead of understand the universe or the answer to the universe, it should be what is the question? That, of course, was Douglas Adams' big insight. It's like, okay, you can come up with an answer, but what you need to have is the right question. So a lot of what I hope XAI will be doing is coming up with the right questions to ask. And if they can get a super intelligence that they feed the correct questions into, maybe it will give us some really, really interesting answers. All right, so that's what I have for now. I will do another video on the second half of the Twitter spaces where Elon talks about some other issues. Probably tomorrow, we will see. But anyway, in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please do like it because YouTube's AI algorithm depends on that to know whether to serve it to other people. And of course, consider subscribing for more of this kind of content. It's very, very important. The subscriptions actually do matter a ton. So I thank you very much for going ahead and taking the moment to click the bell icon and all of that kind of stuff. As always, a huge shout out to my Patreon patrons, my YouTube channel members, and of course, my Twitter subscribers. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel in any way that you can. I really do appreciate it. And of course, if you want to join any of the teams, just check out the links in the description. And if you're interested in a whole bunch of really cool merch, check out our merch store. Link is in the description. We have Tesla bot t-shirts, the Tesla meme t-shirt, success is a possible outcome, 4680 battery cells. All of that stuff is on t-shirts, mugs, tumblers, and on and on. So check it out. And finally, a big thanks once again to AG1 for sponsoring this video. If you want to start feeling better tomorrow, check out the link in the description. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.